Cool, here we are, back in the backyard under the walnut tree where it's a bit cooler out of the sun. So these are these five boxes that we pulled out of the trees last episode, which was a little bit exciting. But I didn't break any bones, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Or drop the thing on the cameraman, otherwise that could have been fun. So anyway, you can see the little girls, we've got the netting just to keep them in here for a minute. So we're just going to get ourselves set up to transfer them into some other boxes. And then I guess we'll pull these slats off and chip the bees into the box that we want them in. I suppose, I don't know. I figure we'll start with this one at the end here because she looks a bit weak and that might be a good one to start with. So we just thought we'd take some footage. It's normally, you know, I don't know if you know, but the bees will actually stand in the opening of the hive and they'll blow the air out or suck the air in to try and get some ventilation going inside the hive. And normally when they're in a commercial box, you can't really see it so good. But in these little boxes that we've brought home out of those trees today, because we were a bit distracted and getting ourselves organized, um, you can get some really good footage of them actually in the doorway of their hive, having blowing the air in and out, which I thought was pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Righty oh you lot, let's see what you're gonna do. Oh, they don't feel like they've got too much honey in there, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Shit, what do you reckon? We just sit it up here on this table. Ooh, wee ladies, what have we done? I wonder how that all holds together. Do you reckon he's, he's just, he's a, he must be a builder. Look how cool he's put that together. Oh hell, there's no way you're going to be able to pull them out there. It would kill them all. Bloody nail guns, they should never have been invented. Because if you had to push all those, hammer all those nails in there, you wouldn't do that, would you? Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hello. <laughs> what a spin out. Oh. <laughs> See, they got the brood towards the bottom and the honey towards the top. I mean, that's pretty standard of what we're trying to achieve with our bee boxes. So that's what they're doing naturally. I can put all the honey at the one end. So they sort of think it hasn't been too crazy. I reckon, I'm gonna to take these off. This is ridiculous. See if I can get myself stung. Like that, straight away, try to bite me. They must be able to smell the flesh, I reckon. Yeah, triggers. Now, a few episodes ago, we went fishing, trying to put the stuff on the frames, and some cool people wrote in and said that maybe we should try some rubber bands. So I went down the news agency and got some 64s. They seem to be the right size. And um, they just go over the frame beautifully and hold it all together, and that's even cooler than fishing wire. So cheers to whoever who sent that in. According to the, the guy who wrote in, or the girl that wrote in, the bees will actually eat the rubber bands when they've got them established and they don't need them to hold the things together anymore. They'll eat through the rubber bands and drag them out of the box. So even cooler. But I don't know, I haven't got that far yet, so. But it sounds groovy. It's heaps easier anyway. These crazy little boxes are almost the perfect frame size. You know, if he'd actually meant to be catching bees, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Maybe I could get him to make me some bee catching boxes, but I think I'd ask him to put a few less nails because it's a little bit enthusiastic. Where are you, Her Majesty? Are you in here anywhere? They all seem very chilled out, lad. I uh, wonder whether we should tip that. I reckon we'll tip these bees in there and get rid of a few of them. What do you reckon? Hopefully the frames don't all fall out, that'll suck. Which they're trying to. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what a circus. Whose stupid idea was this? Because like I said earlier, I think they sprayed them. 
which wasn't real friendly. But of course, if we don't find her, we might kill her, so that would be great, wouldn't it? And then this whole exercise would be a complete waste of time. Now they're getting excited. Surprising how much heavier the honey is. Now I reckon I'm going to have a go, I'm going to go over, I've got some solid plastic frames and I'm going to put either side of them for a start, just so as they feel like they've got a bit, you know, they haven't got to fill up the whole box. These things are cool but they're a pain in the arch when they don't work. <laughs> right, okay, so I reckon we'll put a back where we got the pox from, where we got that thing from, we'll put it back, put this box back there so the field bees can come back to it. And then we'll clean up our mess and do the next one. It's got their smell on it, so there's not too many in there though, is there? So I reckon I know why these guys are a little less, little less fucking happy. We've got some queen cells. Check that out. So either they're lost their queen and making a new one, or they're going to swarm. So I don't know which. We'll see how many eggs are in here, and then I'll make a decision as to what they were doing. We were just thinking that this nest box might have had a bit of foul brood because foul brood stinks like rotten eggs. But just one of what we just found. Some rotten eggs. <laughs> Ooh, they stink. So his bird box did work as a bird box. They were obviously were having halfway through hatching some babies and then they got invaded. Look at that, eh? Nature at work. Oh, well that was a fun way to spend an afternoon. De Deboxing some bird boxes and putting them in some bee boxes. We put them back where they came from each one and I've stuck the old bird box in front so maybe they'll think about that and then tomorrow I'll take them away and then hopefully the girls will start flying in and out of these new boxes and then we'll have to get them out of mother's backyard or we'll be a cactus.